Should you ever reach out to your ex? And when is the best time to do this? I am a creator of Calling In My King. I help transform high achieving women to create lasting love through Vedic astrology, neuroscience, and transactional analysis. So if you are my new subscriber, welcome. This is what I do. And if you are, have been my subscriber for a long time, welcome back. I'm so happy to, ha to have you back here again with me. So here's a question that I get. Should you ever reach out to your ex? and when is the best time to do this. And this is what I teach in my program and if you're, that's something that you want uh, right now and you're ready to transform your love life, uh, links down below, you can actually book a time, we'll make a call and we go from there. So that being said, the, que or the question uh, I get this pretty much often in my program and of course and I kind of break down how you reach out to your ex. There is a formula for this and there is a successful formula for this as well. So should you uh, reach out to your ex? And the answer would be yes, um, especially if you ha want it to, for whatever reason, uh, you guys decide to break up and you agree to it. Right? But the most important thing is that you need to transform your inner world. And I, I know it's pretty cliche and you hear it all the time, self-love and you know, you gotta focus on you and no, not necessarily, it's not about that and sometimes, you know, even learning through uh, astrology as well, is sometimes it's just a transit, right? Or a period of time in your life that you have to go through something like this and you just need to learn to have proper tools, right, skills and communication to make it successful, right? A lot, you are leading into this relationship. You are the foundation. Um, you know, I hear this before over time and again and again. You gotta work in your inner world and those are the tools that you need. Astrology won't even predict this for you and let's be honest with you, um, I have done enough astrology and seen enough. If you don't have the tools and skill, there is no free will. Okay, so you're potentially letting the star or the universe kind of like take over your love life. And that's not really fair for you. And it's not fair for anybody in the relationship. So this is the reason why when I'm doing a consultation, I also put into the program as well, just because when you have the tools and resources, things are a little bit much more better. So you decided to break up and for whatever reason, and it could be various reasons, um, I can list them out for you right now. It could be they cheated, right? They have no drive for work. That's another one. Uh, maybe they neglected you. Maybe they have an addiction or a drinking problem. Or, or maybe they really don't contribute in a relationship. I want you to be brave enough, and if you're going through a breakup right now, because you're watching this video, I want you to agree to this breakup. Agree to the breakup, I have a link down below, you can make a phone call and I'll give it as a uh, complimentary. Either you can talk to my team specifically and then we're going to map out your love life, how we're going to get him back and how and where you are at your state of your life, right? Agree to the breakup, get the right resources on the skills right and this is what I teach it's down below many of it will be transactional analysis that which is communication learning how to renegotiate certain things and there's a way to do it as well and there's a way of writing how you feel and how things are done because you don't want to over contradict things by using the same sentence I feel I think those are contradiction and it comes me and myself and I so verse with we when you communicate with the we part, it's a little bit different than verse with I. Honestly, if you got back with him right now, immediately without you getting the uh, resources, to be honest, it's gonna backfire you. And you're gonna end up in the same situation and it's gonna be very frustrated and you're gonna be living in a cycle until one of you kind of break, right? 
really ghosted you. And I think people ghost is because they are sick and tired of it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to deal with it. And they're they're done. They checked out. They completely checked out to the point like you won't find them at all. So that being said, I hope this has helped you getting clarity where to go because the last thing I want you to feel is frustrated, no solution, or the fact that it's hopeless. So I don't think it's hopeless. I think it's you just need the right resources. So links down below, make book a call, we'll find out what's going on with your love life. All right. I look forward to hearing from you, right? Bye now. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends because sharing is caring. If you want my help in your relationship or dating situation, you can always book a time with me. Check out the link below. To stay in touch, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be notified when I post new videos. Please go ahead, hit the like button because it encouraged me to create more contents like this every week for you. If you have an idea for a video, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.